Okay, so when we have functions of three variables, f of x, y, z, okay, scalar functions, a function taking x, y, z to r, to some scalar value, we can't draw them anymore. I know it's heartbreaking, but that's the fact. Why? Because in order to draw this, the domain is three-dimensional, right? So just the domain is three space where we live, and the value at any point in three space should be in some fourth dimension. So this is something of the form w equals f of x, y, z. Do you agree? And we can't draw that. We don't know how to draw things four-dimensional. Even we don't know how to, how to sculpture them. Four dimensions is beyond most of ours reach. Do you agree? Do you understand the, the, the challenge here? Why we can't do it? And it's not that we can't do it. Even a computer graphics can't do it. We just don't have a means of, of, of drawing something four-dimensional. We only have three-dimensions around us. Okay, do you agree? Is this clear? But nevertheless, there are functions in three-dimensionals which we uh, encounter every day and are very important. For example, the temperature. Okay, every day you look at the weather forecast and you want to know what's going to be the temperature. Well, you don't want to know what's going to be the temperature on Earth because that varies widely. You want to know what the temperature is where you are, right? And if you're up here on the hills and you want to go down to the beach, the temperature can be very different, okay? So the temperature is a value, is a constant, and at every point in space, the, temp the temperature can be different, right? And if you take up in a hot air balloon, up there in the sky, the temperature is going to be somewhat cooler, right? And if you try to sneak in the wheels of a plane, don't do that because you're going to freeze, right? Do, do you all know what I'm talking about? Okay, so somebody's nodding, yeah, yeah, sneaking in the wheel of a plane, that's, okay. So, but we can still understand the temperature at any given point, okay? And how can we understand it? Well, we're actually mimicking the idea of level curves. And that generalization we're going to call level surfaces. So let's start with the definition. I left here on the board the definition of a level curve and let's modify it. So it's no longer going to be a curve. It's going to be a surface, a surface. And well, the level curve was called L. Let's call it um, let's call it S. A surface S in, it's no longer in the XY plane, it's now in space, in R3, is called a level surface, a level surface of F of XY Z. Now we're looking at a function of three variables. If the value of F on every point of S is some fixed constant, okay? So here's an example. What I see in front of me now, okay, all of you, your bodies sitting in this classroom, you are the level surface corresponding to C equals 37 degrees Celsius of the function f of x, y, z equals the temperature at every given point. Okay? Do you understand what I just said? Let me say it again. The function I'm looking at it as an example, which I'm just saying now, is the function that at any given point in space gives the temperature at that point in degrees Celsius. Okay? All of you and me, providing you don't have fever, are the level surface corresponding to the value C equals 37. Because the temperature at the points which you're at is precisely 37 because that's your body temperature. Plus, minus, you know, some of you maybe 36.8. I don't know. Is that clear? Is that idea clear? Okay, so although I can't see the graph of the function, maybe you can imagine the graph as Many people can invent many ways of imagining these sort of graphs, like using colors. 
So you would color y your bodies as red because they're 37, and then around you it's going to be maybe slightly warmer than just regular air temperature because it's still close to you, and then further away it cools off, and then the, the temperature in this room is a nice and cozy, I don't know, 21, I'm guessing. And then if you go outside, maybe it's a bit warmer today. And, but do you understand the idea? Okay, so this is what's called a level surface. All the points, and they form a surface in space, where the value of the function is some fixed constant. Clear? Let's do an example. So, in the example, I'm not going to be able to draw the graph. Because I can't draw graphs of three-dimensional functions. So let's look at the example. Example. f of x, y, z equals x squared plus y squared minus z. Do you agree that this is a function of three variables? Okay. I want to imagine it. I want to understand what it looks like. I can't draw it. Okay, I just can't. I need for every x, y, z to draw, to, to plot a point at some fourth dimension. I, I, I can do this to indicate that it's in a fourth dimension, but this is still in the same dimension. This is another x, y, z. So maybe it's up there. No, but this is another x, y, z. It's some fourth dimension which I, is beyond my reach. Clear? What I can draw is the level surfaces, just like we did before for level curves. So for example, when is x squared plus y squared minus z, when is this equal to zero? to the constant zero. What are all the points x, y, z where f equals zero? Very good, a circular paraboloid. So the points where, let me move it a bit, the points where x squared plus y squared minus z equals zero are precisely the points where z equals x squared plus y squared. Do you agree? And that I know how to draw. Not easy, but I can do it. Okay, so here it is. It's a paraboloid. How do I know? Because we, we've met it before. So all the points here on some given paraboloid here, all these points, on all this surface, this is an infinite surface, right? On all of this paraboloid, the value of the function in the fourth dimension is zero. Do you agree? What do the points where the value of the function is one look like? How are they located in R3? Well, if this is one, then z, oh, maybe I'll write it, um, yeah, z equals x squared plus y squared minus 1. Do you agree? Can I draw this? The answer is yes, right? It's exactly the same graph as this, but at any x, y, the z value is not going to be the same value here. I'm going to, in, in order to get the same value, I have to, take, to, to, to deduct 1, to subtract 1. Do you agree? So what is this surface going to look like? It's going to be a paraboloid again, but how would it relate to this paraboloid? You're doing this and I don't know if you mean it's going up or down. What's going to be the value at zero, for example, when, when x and y equals zero? What's the z value going to be? Minus one. So, the level surface corresponding, let's draw it in orange, the level surface corresponding to the constant 1 is going to be some paraboloid, exactly the same shape, but whose um, what do you call this, the, the vertex is at minus 1. Okay, so maybe, so this orange one corresponds to c equals 1. And then this blue one corresponds to the constant c equals 0. Do you agree? And these are just the level surfaces. The function lives somewhere out there in the fourth dimension, the graph. But on all these points, the value is 1. And on all these points, the value is 0. And when is the value going to be negative 1, for example? 
the value is negative 1, if and only if z equals x squared plus y squared plus 1. So that's going to be, again, a paraboloid, but this time it's going to be sitting further up here, something like this. Okay, this is getting blurry, I agree, but what you should imagine is a bunch of bowls, one inside the other. Okay, so the red one corresponds to C equals negative 1. Is it clear? Is it clear what we're doing? Okay, and it's something to hold on to, something to hold on to. I'm not saying it's, 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 um, it's better than nothing. In terms of being able to draw the graph, we have nothing. Okay, so this is some insight to what, to what this function does, some insight, and that's all it is. Okay, so that's the definition of a level surface, and level surfaces are, are, are going to play a role in, in what we do. We're going to see their um, importance. Questions? Is this clear? Everybody good? Okay, so um, let's stop here.